Hey, I'm Beat. Guess what, you guys? Lizzie McGuire is coming back. Naomi Campbell now has a YouTube channel and 90s fashion is resurrected and we're all dressing like Posh Spice. Today, I'm doing a 90s inspired back to school haul, including some 90s fashion history. I know, you can just call me Hot La Blair. <laughs> So this whole thing started because a few months ago, I saw that Naomi Campbell had a YouTube channel and she's literally an icon. She sits in direct, harsh sunlight to do a Q&A, all calm, cool, collected, and is very relaxed and looks gorgeous. Here is me in direct sunlight. I also thought it was really cool that she does her own grocery shopping. She went to Whole Foods, she had someone film her. And this is her grocery list. Raisins, pears, mandarins, a whole thing of basil, lemons, and yogurt. Oh, sorry, I forgot the important part. A bunch of different essential oils. So my question is, do you guys want me to eat like Naomi Campbell? Give this video a thumbs up and I'll do it because but because of her, I started following up on all the like famous 90s supermodels. There was like five big ones and I wanted to see what they were doing today. And apparently I found out that Cindy Crawford has actually cloned herself. And my science teacher was totally lying when she said the sheep was the only thing that's been cloned. Anyway, although these models look really good at anything, I'm so happy the 90s vibe is coming back. Like the cute little schoolgirl look, the mini backpacks, platform sneakers undersized sweaters, baby tees, short dresses. It's back, baby. I literally cannot believe that 90s fashion got entirely resurrected, all starting with one choker trend literally like four years ago. Imagine if I had that much power. Although the 90s are cool, I don't think I would like to time travel back to them because the roaring 20s are coming up and you better believe that Gatsby will not fall in love with me. I will become Gatsby. Roll reversed. Nikita Dragon style. Anyway, for the first look, I went really Cher inspired, my 90s role model. I'm so happy that I'm partnering with Princess Polly on this post because they're giving you guys a discount code of 20%. It's Blair XO for 20% off. Yeah, you're welcome. There's also free express shipping on orders over $50 and they have something called afterpay, which basically means if you can't afford the item right now, you can pay in installments every month till you pay it off. So if you want something, go grab it. And when I give you guys these codes, no, they're not affiliate links. They're just discount codes for you guys. So feel free to use them site-wide. Do whatever you want. Get whatever you want. I don't see what it is or how much it is or get anything from it. You know, it's just a discount. This blue striped dress is made of the t-shirt material, so it's actually really comfy to wear all day, which is important to me. These are more dressed up versions of like a school outfits, like when you want to look like I'm a bad bitch. I like the half zip sweater because first of all, it accentuates your body good, but also it makes this spaghetti strap dress dress code appropriate because you don't want boys to be distracted by your shoulder. How would they get anything done when they get distracted by this, huh? Housework, chores, homework, putting the toilet seat down. I haven't seen the toilet seat get put down in like five years. Do you think it was my shoulder? I paired this outfit with some really cool chunky sneakers. I, sneaker. <coughs> Sorry, during the summer in the city, which is like this big YouTuber event, we had a bunch of people over, YouTubers, and my shoe went missing. So I was gonna do this whole investigation to find out what thief, what shoe fetish person stole my shoe, and why are they at home sniffing it? And can I have my shoe back, please? The YouTuber that stole from me. Story time. You can see it now. 14 views. 52 likes. I paired this outfit with a cute little backpack and I was on my way to learn that TikTokers are more than college graduates. Yay, I love school. If you don't feel like a dress, you can use a floral print skirt. It's comfy and pretty and fingertip length. Very important. Floral print was really big in the 90s. I really like pairing really, really girly items with a little bit more grunge items. Like I love a black mesh shirt to make anything dress code appropriate. I do love this little sass on the yellow bodysuit. It's like a little bit of detail right on the under boob. Like, <sighs> oh my gosh, you guys want to hear a story time? So in the 90s, a big designer called Marc Jacobs, I don't know if you've heard of him, he used to style for the Perry Ellis show and <laughs> he did this thing where he mixed like baggy pants, floral dresses, sneakers, like really mixed grunge outfits and he put these girls on their runway and it was one of the first times they came out looking like that and he actually got 
fired. He thought that was gonna be the end of him. Like this is a story of such triumph. Like you, you think you have the career of a lifetime and then all of a sudden, while you're doing your job, you get fired. Marc Jacobs went on to become a really fabulous, amazing, famous designer. And guess what? He is the reason from that show that wearing sneakers and dresses is actually cool and normal now. Isn't that crazy? Like from one action causes so many reactions. What? So this is another variation on the floral dress with a grunge twist. I paired it with these 90 sunglasses. Listen, Kanye West said big sunglasses are over, so they're over. Get small sunglasses. They look really cool. Like this. Cool. I also paired it with this purse from Princess Polly that looks exactly like the by far purse. That is literally $300. If you want to save some coin, Princess Polly's got you with a lot of really cute accessories. I'll link a couple options down below. These are probably the best quality accessories I have seen from an inexpensive brand in a really long time. The next outfit mixes the soft girl vibe with a little bit of grunge again. I love letting the black sleeves peek through and I love a white shoe. I also paired it with these cute green tortoise shell clips that look like they have a little bit of gold flex in them. Princess Polly has like a lot of different cute white clips so you'll find something like. The final dress that's a little bit like, not really for school, but kind of for a date. So there's this Instagrammer I really like. Her name is Matilda Jerv, and she has these really romantic and natural looking photos. You can follow her on Instagram, or you can follow me, or you can do both and live your life. Um, she's really a big like fashion inspiration to me. A lot of the dresses she wears are really, really expensive, which is okay if you want dresses to wear for a long time, or that's just a new budget, whatever. I am so happy that I found this one because it looks really similar to the dresses she wears. It fits really good. The button detailing is really, really, really cute. So I was so happy to find this and I'm going to wear it on a hot day with NYX flicks. <laughs> anyway guys, that was all for today. I really hope you liked that little fashion video. I have a lot of new videos coming soon. Thrift videos, food videos, a lot of collabs. Wedding dress, what, oh, wedding videos are finally coming and they're mostly in collaboration with other um, YouTubers. So I think you guys are really going to find them fun and special and like, um, yeah, and I also tried on some like really Instagram famous wedding dresses that you've seen all over Instagram and um, I am excited to show you guys. So don't forget to subscribe and I love you lots. Bye, Walnuts out. Whoop! Ew, ew, that was weird. <laughs>